What's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Twin Finance. My name is Dylan and today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin and I know this was kind of a topic of the past but recently today uh, down we had around 18-20% um, in the last you know week or month here guys was holding steady in the fives for a bit now it's down to 437 last time I checked that was about five minutes ago US dollars um, I'm not gonna. I don't want to be one of those guys to jump out and say, you know, everything about Bitcoin's bad and oh, it's the worst thing ever. I don't want to be a Bitcoin hater, uh, but I also don't want to be a Bitcoin, you know, one of those guys that just loves Bitcoin and like, you know, Bitcoin to the moon. Um, you know, I've had, a, <laughs> I've encountered a couple of those guys uh, throughout the bubble here. You know, Bitcoin to the moon, it's the greatest thing ever. I'm just gonna judge it from an unbiased standpoint here, and you know, kind of what I think, uh, and you know, kind of try and just be fair towards bitcoin so one thing with bitcoin is i just think with bitcoin i think i don't think the idea of it's bad at all i don't think the idea of bitcoin is bad i think in a perfect world bitcoin works it makes sense you know why why would we have one generalized uh, currency uh why wouldn't we you know all abide by the same the same like principles and you know rules towards that currency too why, why would that not make sense why would we all not just share it i think it would make you know trade easier uh, just everything easier if you know if we all just judge the same the same currency instead of you know us dollars canadian dollars everything guys you know the pound everything you know all those all the currencies in the world the list goes on and on um you know the euro whatnot but i think i think the idea of bitcoin it's it's really good for sure i think in a perfect world that's awesome but let's be honest we don't live in a perfect world and governments large institutions, banks, all, all the people, you know, that are involved in, you know, the U.S. economy, they don't like that idea. Warren Buffett, he's a big guy. He's a big guy out there. He hates Bitcoin. Well, he doesn't hate Bitcoin, but he just said, look, it's never going to work. And I, I, I agree with him on that. I don't think Bitcoin's ever going to work. First of all, it's not a perfect world. Second of all, I just, I don't think we could, there will be, the Bitcoin like group would be able to get enough people on board to really push that to the next level. Uh, not anytime soon, at least. Maybe maybe like a thousand years down the road. Uh, or maybe a hundred or, you know, maybe like four or five hundred years down the road. Maybe if the, you know, technology advances a lot and we make this world a lot smaller and a little bit easier to deal with. Because technology has already advanced a lot, but let's face it, guys, you know, dealing with currencies and stuff and, you know, inflation and, and all that. It's still, it's still a tall task for, you know, the Fed and, uh, all the all the governments around the world. So I really think Bitcoin. I mean, I don't really think that's the best way to go about it. I do think, though. However, in a perfect world, Bitcoin's real good. Um, like I said, I don't want to be a hater and, and come out and have a hot take. But do I think Bitcoin's gonna you know fall to nothing? I don't think it'll fall to nothing. Uh, could they fall more? Probably. They probably are gonna. Let's be honest here. Maybe you know two thousand US dollars, three thousand US dollars, whatever. You know, maybe right in around that range. I think they'll probably hang around. They won't shoot back up to anything crazy within, you know, the next 10 years or whatever. Maybe they'll have another little bubble down the road someday. Um, like I said, do I do I think they're going to come a general currency in the world and, you know, in our lifetimes? No, I don't think in any of our lifetimes on the planet today. We'll all be gone before Bitcoin's the generalized currency in the world. Um, just because, guys, you got to think about it. Imagine if we were to implement a general currency. Like settling in a state for like one person takes sometimes two years. Imagine trying to implement a currency for every single person around the world. We're passing like legislation, laws everywhere around the world. That would take like centuries to pass, centuries. So uh, think about that, guys. I mean, that, that would just be the lankiest process ever. And, you know, then you're, you always got to think about it. You're going to have the outliers. You're going to have like... There's going to be one big economy not on board that you kind of need that piece to the puzzle for it to work. And it's not going to work, right? So I don't think anytime soon that's going to happen. No, I, like I said, I don't think Bitcoin's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad idea. Uh, it is, it's not going to work right now, anytime soon. Uh, Bitcoin, do I think it's going to crash? Probably. Probably crash a bit more. People get pretty bearish on it. I mean, go read the articles. Uh, when there's a lot of negative media out there, I'm, I don't think, you know, all of a sudden it's going to shoot back up. Uh, yeah, that's kind of just my opinion, guys. You don't, uh, you don't have to uh, agree with me on anything, of course. 
love to hear your comments in the section below. Uh, you know, share with me. Maybe you think Bitcoin's going up. Hey, tell me why. Uh, maybe you think Bitcoin's going to, you know, fall to nothing. Love to hear your opinion. Or maybe you think Bitcoin's going to be the general currency within the next year or so here, guys. I mean, I really don't see how that would be possible. But maybe you think that and, you know, maybe explain to me why. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe. Take care.